Hey, welcome to the Driven Stone Podcast, the podcast for two friends. Raise a glass and have a conversation. I'm Nick. I'm Kyle. Nicholas. Kyle. I am thirsty. Me too. What do you want to drink? Well, I have a couple of beers for us. Sweet. We've never had anything by this brewery before. Cool. I know. This is from the Athletic Brewing Company. Oh, have, nice. You know anything about them? Not a thing. Okay, cool. Uh, let me let me fish them out of our fancy cooler over here. Sweet. Thanks, man. Yeah, you're welcome. Do you have to be fit to drink from the Athletic Beer Company? I mean, you've seen the two of us. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what? Wait, what are you trying to say? Uh, I'm saying we're That fit we're good. Enough. That we're good. Okay, yeah. That's yeah. what. I'm just making sure. What do you say? Well, <laughs> based on how you asked that question. How are you question, interpreting? <laughs> based on how you asked that question, we might not be fit to drink said fit beer. I think we're good. Well, from the Athletic Brewing Company. All right, let's look. Let's take a look. As long as it's not the professional Athletic beer Brewing Company. No, so I've got the Run Wild IPA. Sweet. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll pour for both of us. Okay. Is that okay? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. Run Wild. IPA. Love me an IPA. Gorgeous color. Yeah, I agree. Let me let me open mine. We're, we're doing full pours here, bud. Yeah, we I are. I know. That's my that's my favorite sound. Today. Best sound of the day. All right, what do you got on the color? Um, this is a a dark honey. It really is. Yeah, and it's like I mean the the haziness that it has like plays into that. Yeah, absolutely. Because you, you you can't see anything through it. No, I mean. I, I got the uh, barely any light the, coming the through. The library here, you're in front of the window, so when I'm looking through, I'm it's you know the lights coming right through. Sure, and I, it's still like there's some haze there. There's some you know nice uh, nice little bubbles going on. The head on this is pretty <laughs> damn good. I mean, it looks like a cup of caramel, <laughs> caramel <laughs> it's sauce. Pretty damn close. Yeah. What do you got on the uh, on the nose? I got an IPA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hoppy, citrusy. Yeah. There's um little, little danky, little danky quality. Not 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 heavy dank. But subtle dank. My nickname in college. <laughs> no joke. Well, heavy dank, subtle dank. <laughs> Both. Both. <laughs> yeah. I knew it. <laughs> Again, I you know I can't explain why. Sure. But that's that's what makes it good. It ruins the story. Yeah. It, well, it does. Well, I can. I'll tell you later. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. It's everything out of an IPA. I expect. Let me let me give you some can words here, real quick. Yeah. It looks like there's a lot. Brewed in the USA by the Athletic Brewing Company, Stratford, Connecticut, and San Diego, California. Connecticut. Yeah. Good for them. Brew Without Compromise, established in 2017. This is a relatively wow. new. Yeah, pretty young. Relatively new beer. Yeah. What's the 70? Uh, 70 calories. 70 right? calories. No. Oh. I'm going in. Man, heavy bitter. Yeah. Not a lot of, not, no sweetness at all. No. I don't get any fruit. Real heavy bitter. Or anything. Man, there's something on the aftertaste though. What do you mean? It's almost like, not grainy, but like <laughs> yeah, oats like, yeah. or something. <laughs> Bready. Yeah. Like a little bit of breadiness. Like I, I almost, the, the, the nose, and we, we've done this a couple of times where the nose is really deceptive in that like you get all of the IPA aspects. Right. And then here you still get the IPA bitter. Like the bitters are pretty high here. I don't know if it says what the IBUs are. Uh, It doesn't. It doesn't say what the IBUs are, but it's definitely, it's got to be up there for sure. Yeah, but I, I always enjoy a good curveball like that. Mm-hmm. That nose is one way and then flavors totally different yeah it's not heavy in the flavor department no i feel no. like the, the flavors are pretty subdued but i don't dislike that i don't like, i don't necessarily either it's i mean it's crisp it's cold yeah it's refreshing it's absolutely refreshing yeah like i mean this is definitely like a dare i say like a chuggable beer it could go down in a hurry uh, especially if you're hot yeah just got through mowing that lawn man this, I mean, this could go down quick it absolutely could nothing about it is heavy Everything's on like the lighter side, and I'm okay with that. Like it feels more like a session IPA. Like it's it's a little sure. dude. Um, you don't you don't get like the like w- when I think of an IPA. Like for me, a standard IPA is like uh, I don't know, like Cigar City's High Lie. Sure, and, and that's probably just because of you know being here in Florida, and that's a standard IPA. Mm-hmm. It's about seven percent, and it gives you an IPA punch. You know, like uh, uh, the Rebel IPA by um, Sam Adams, like that—that that is standard kind of general IPA. Right. But then I think of like Hazy Little Thing by Sierra Nevada, mm-hmm. and like so delicious. Yeah. 
That's a good one. This has the same kind of elements, the same kind of qualities. You you have all of the the standard kind of IPA stuff, and it's all there. But then you you just kind of dial it back a little bit, right? Not in a bad way. It just it's subdued. Yeah, for sure. You you honestly you, you acclimate to the bitter. Yeah, like I'm already there, and so that being like the the strongest flavor that was coming through, that's already starting to get subdued. It's and, just an easy drinker. And then once you get that bitter for me, that bitter now that's subdued, then you get some of those sweet elements. I, I wouldn't say they're like sweet, but sure. there's, there's, there's like, like some subtle citrus starting to poke through. Right. Very, very soft, yeah. subtle citrus. Yeah. I really like the amount of carbonation in this. Yeah, totally. Like, I mean, it, it, it had a pretty good head when you poured it. Yeah. It still does. You I can mean, still kind of stir it up yeah. and get it back. And it holds pretty well. So would you like to know why we're doing this? Sure. I'm about to go for a run. I already ran today. I don't need to run again. Oh, I could go right now. You want to go? Mm-mm. I can chug one of these after my run. I'll, I'll chug it first and then <laughs> chug see, it and see then how far I can We'll go. do a beer mile. I can yeah. do it. See how far I can make it. Keep <laughs> your, it down. 10-minute mile is going to turn into a 14-minute mile. <laughs> and then it's going to turn into a, <laughs> a liquid mile. <laughs> All right. So um, what's the ABV? What, what would you, where would you put it? I get, I mean, I never do, mm-hmm. but I get nothing here. Mm-hmm. No, no hint of anything. So I would, I would go low. I'd go like four, maybe, maybe three. It's on the front. Contains less than 0.5 percent <laughs> alcohol. <laughs> I knew I was going low. Didn't know I was going that low. So this is a a non-alcoholic beer. Interesting, right? I mean, it it's got the flavors. It really does. It makes me wonder if like it. it, it Alcohol really adds a lot of sweetness. It absolutely does. You know? Yeah. So why we're doing this, and full disclosure, I did not tell Kyle that this is what we were doing. And and normally I'm not that furtive, but I wanted just to see how you reacted. And I've not had this. I've had the other one. We're going to do another one by Athletic Brewing. But we've never done a non-alcoholic beer. That's a first for us. Yeah. <laughs> well, here's the irony. <laughs> Go ahead. So I've been doing... My my OMADs, uh huh, the one meal a day, absolutely. Past couple of recording sessions, mm-hmm. that OMAD has fucked me up. <laughs> I believe because that. we we do our episodes, yeah, and I've got nothing in the gut, yeah, and it and it works on you quick, yeah. So today I was like, you know what, I'm gonna eat. <laughs> I'm gonna eat something first. <laughs> so I broke my OMAD today. <laughs> In preparation <laughs> for the beers, <laughs> the beers, because like he's bringing beers, I, I, I should eat something today. I should eat something. I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to get messed up again. Well, the best part is, buddy, it's fine. You don't have to. I mean, I already did. You already did. I'm I saying. know. I already broke the OMAD today in preparation, <laughs> and now you're giving me goddamn alcoholic free Not- beer. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. So the reason why I did this That's is, irony is, is what that I, is. No, I, I, I fully the understand. definition of irony. I fully understand it. And I think it's hilarious. Too funny. I think it's really great. Now, okay. Here's the reason why. And here's the reason why I, I kept it from you clearly. Yeah. Like I, I didn't want you to even look at the can. Like you can see the can, but you couldn't see it had sure. zero ABV. Because I find it really interesting. Mm-hmm. There's always been a market for NA beer. And, and sure. you know, like the... Odules. Yeah, Odules. I think... Heineken now that's like 0.0. Right. And like you've probably seen the commercial of the dudes like drinking in the car and a cop pulls him over and he's like, mm. there's another one too. And I want to say it's like a bigger name. Maybe it's Goose Island that does like a, oh, I think so. Yeah. A light yeah. IPA. I don't think it's like, it's not this low. Right. It's but it's down it's, to like 2% yeah, or it's, something. It's low, low. Yeah. And the reason why I, I have I kind of have an issue with low alcohol seltzers. Or okay. like just seltzers in general. I'm, I have a bit of an aversion. I think we'll eventually get there just because, I mean, they're taking the planet. You know, or, I mean, they really are. Everybody's got one. And I think everyone is eventually going to have an N.A. beer where it has alcohol. Technically, it has 0.5% alcohol by volume. So in this. Less than 0.5. Less than 0.5. <laughs> so in this can, there's, you know, 0.5% of this is alcohol. But have you ever had an N.A. beer outside of this? Never. They're tasteless trash they're generally like terrible Mm -hmm. but why i chose this and and why i kind of want to have a little bit of this conversation is i don't find this terrible at all and if you weren't to tell me i would know that it's you know there's not a whole lot of alcohol in here because there's not a whole lot of sweet right and you're right the alcohol content just pumps it full of sugar right and 
it's really interesting. I bet you if we were to have a beer and then go to this, like a normal, you know, six percent beer and sure. then go to this, we'd be like, Oh, we're yeah. missing out. You know maybe something's like not as sweet or it's not as high, but you wouldn't really know it. Yeah, no. I feel like I've had beers that essentially had this amount of flavor. Right. Or, you know, and we, we've definitely talked about stuff that was definitely sure. had alcohol in it and was even not as enjoyable, not as drinkable as this. I was just going to say that. Like, it has even less flavor than right. this. Right. Yeah, for sure. So it's interesting that, like, at this point, we can get a an N.A. beer to taste like a craft beer. Right. And the revolution that I think is going to come along with this and in my experience, like in buying this, I went to um, a big box liquor store mm-hmm. because they're the only place that has it right now. And I said, you know, hey, do you, you guys have this? And the guy's like, no, nah, we don't care that. I was like, well, it's an NA beer. He's like, oh, it's that section over there. <laughs> and like, I felt like I was being judged. And he walks me over and he's like, actually, this, like, this section is really small, but we like, it sells out constantly. I was like, really? He's like, oh, yeah. People, this stuff flies off the shelf. He wasn't talking about the athletic brewing. He was talking about just NA beers in general. Sure. And he's like, you know, diabetics because it has almost no sugar. Right. He's like, and people who want to drink, want to drink socially, but don't want something with a lot of alcohol and don't want something with a ton of calories. Right. You know, even like a, a Mick Ultra or, or whatever the, the low Michelob is, is like 102 calories, which right. seems honestly putting up against an IPA that's over 300 is nothing. But, you know, when, when you're someone who's really cognizant of that and you care or even, I mean, just, you know. I can definitely think of parties and stuff that we've thrown right. where you try to think of everything that you could have for the people that are coming over, like right. different kinds of drinks and stuff like that. This is actually like a pretty fantastic option for somebody that, you know, fits that specification of like, I'm trying to, I'm watching my calories. Yeah. I'd still like the Feeling more or less experience. Right. I could carry, like, I could walk around with this and not Nobody, stand out because yeah. like, you know, are you drinking water? Yeah. Now you could drink an NA beer. Yeah, Totally. And be just fine. Yeah, and get all the same qualities. No one would really even know the difference unless they, you know, had one too. Sure. And, you know, like you said, if you were throwing a party and you just want everybody to be health conscious or you didn't want people to leave your house trashed, yeah. here you go. Yeah. Or, you know, somebody's getting out of control, you know, hey, let me go grab you another beer. Oh, yeah. You know, go open them one of these and bring them over. Yeah. They're never going to they, know. They never know. No, you for know, sure they would. Then an hour later, they're like, right again. Yeah. And they're like, and you and you've done your job. <laughs> well, you probably screwed up because now they think they're a champ. Yeah, right. <laughs> they're gonna go home and chug fourteen beers. And be dead. That's on them. They're home at that point. <laughs> That's a good point. I did my job. <laughs> All the frat boys are like, "Damn, I can crush twelve six packs." No, like where where I think this is perfect is like those um, those dry weeks. Mm-hmm. You know that a lot of people do. Yeah. Um, but you still want to have a beer with dinner. Absolutely. You're still gonna have a steak, and yeah. you still want that beer flavor with your steak. 100% Boom. so. Taken and, care of. In, in kind of like looking up information on this, I, I kind of looked up information to sell it to you a little bit. Okay. Because I, I wanted us to have a conversation because this this is something that kept coming up for some reason on Facebook for me. Like I just, it would show me those ads. I've never looked up anything Interesting. on Facebook and it was showing us, you know, these ads. So I was like, I mean, why not? Let's try it. Let's see what it's like. It could be terrible. It could be great. Right. Let's just see. So... You know, like specifically up, this beer, specifically this beer and hmm. this brand. So good on you, Athletic Brewing, for <laughs> clearly you did your paying job. the money for Facebook <laughs> right. because you're you're selling the the stuff around here for right. sure. Right. But you know, looking up information, looking up like how can we talk about this? I just I find it so interesting that you know this first of all exists and it's selling really well. And I mean, if if a dry month were to happen, like you said, or you wanted a dry week, or you just wanted. You didn't want soda because this you got a, you got a thing coming back. You're trying to drop a few pounds. Sure, boom. And this is less calories than a soda. I mean, yeah. not a 70. diet soda, but a less definitely less calories than a um, a Coke. I think a Coke's like 220 calories for a can. Right, 70 calories for a can. I mean, you could have three of these and, and be you know in the same kind of ballpark. Give it a swirl. Yeah, knows it. Cooked pasta. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You're right. Spaghetti. Yeah, you know, spaghetti spaghetti with like. Um, some of the IPA notes. Yeah. Yeah. Same ingredients, <laughs> you know? Yeah. <laughs> so they, they say that the ingredients here are water, organic Vienna malt, malted barley, oats, hops, and yeast. Like literally all the ingredients for a beer. Yeah. I, I'm going to actually read the can now because now it's not going to give, I mean, the, the, the shticks up. 
Gotcha. Athletic Brewing Company, we are pioneering a craft brew revolution. We believe you shouldn't have to sacrifice your ability to be at your best to enjoy great brews. So we created our innovative lineup of refreshing non-alcoholic craft beers. All things athletic at Athletic Brewing. So, oh, and you don't have to pay federal tax on this, by the way, because it's not actual beer. There you go. There it is. And they give 2% of sales back to restoring local trails. Sweet. Yeah. So would you like to know how near beer or non-alcoholic brew is made? I was honestly just about to ask that. I was curious, like, is it just like you, you go ahead and you mix up the ingredients, I don't know, Hopefully boil, boil it down, get the flavors extracted, and then bottle that shit? I'll tell you how they make these, mm-hmm. but I have another one here. Cool. Different style? A different style. Totally different kind of beer. Cool. I will say... Athletic Brewing has multiple kinds of beers. I can only find these two. Okay. You can order them online. You can have them shipped to you. Oh. You can have it shipped to you on Amazon. They're on Amazon. They That's are. That's cool. They are also um, their website. You can have it shipped directly to you because it's an NA beer. There are no weird liquor laws. Right. Literally, we can ship it to you just like we would soda. Super like, cool. Like a kombucha, basically. It's the same kind of alcohol content. Here you go. So it's also kind of nice that like you don't have to, you know, you don't have to go out of your way necessarily. And to, to get a, a near beer or something that's, that's pretty close. But I know this seems like sort of a uh, uh, promo for Athletic Brewing. We are not being paid by them. <laughs> but if uh, if you'd like to pay us. Yeah, or you know, if you want to send us some of your other uh, brews. <laughs> oh, that, maybe we'll do that. <laughs> we could do a whole other episode on Athletic Brewing. <laughs> athletic Brewing. Let us know. Yeah. Because uh, we're not going to say no to that. So we've got their Run Wild Singing IPA. River did it. They did, and everyone <laughs> wants to be like Singing River. Yeah, I mean, God, who wouldn't? <laughs> Great stuff. That's what I say. Um, Run Wild IPA. We're going to try the Upside Down Golden Ale. That's okay. that's our next one, so we're going to get there. They also have the Free Wave Hazy IPA. Mm. They have the Cerveza Atletica, which is like a... Uh, Corona. Right. Sorry. That's okay. That's okay. Don't want to okay. name drop. It's all right. No, it's fine. Uh, the All Out, which is an uh, a stout. Ooh. They have the Wits Peak Wit Beer. Oh, they have uh, two trellises, which is like um, they're blending a couple different hops. Mm-hmm. The Nature Nut, which is a <laughs> peanut butter beer made yeah. with uh, Justin's, the, the Justin's, the peanut butter, the like almond butter company, the expensive sure. peanut butter. Yeah. Sure. Uh, and they have the Downwinder, which is a goes. Oh, cool. So my point is like they've got a bunch of different kinds of beers. Like, yeah, that, that's awesome. That is a, a brewery. I mean, it's not just a, you know, oh, here's here's a beer we'll throw at you because you, you don't drink. It's. They've clearly thought about this. Yeah, this is a endeavor. Okay, so our next one, as we already mentioned, did I call it Upside Down? It's Upside Dawn. <laughs> I have no idea. So this is the Upside Dawn from Athletic Brewing. Are you saying that with an accent, like Upside Dawn? No, like D A W or something. No. Oh, Dawn. D- dawn, as in like, gotcha. You know, you're drinking this as your breakfast because at Dawn, right? Because it's <laughs> it's 50 calories and it's an NA beer. Yeah, probably you can do great that. with sausage. What doesn't? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Nothing at all. <laughs> yeah, so this one's, uh, it says crafted to remove the gluten. So this one's gluten-free. Wow. The other one's not gluten-free. The Run, run Wild doesn't seem to be gluten-free. But this it, one is yeah, gluten-free. Yeah, it's not on there, but this one, yeah, it says crafted to, to remove, remove it. it. They can't say it's not gluten-free. They say it may contain gluten, but they're trying to get as close as possible. Yep. So there's that. This one's only 50 calories per can. Boom. I know. That's pretty good. Yep. I like the aesthetic, too. I do, too. I like, the, like what they got going on there. Yeah, I do, too. I agree. I like the way these pour into a glass, too. I mean, they just... It looks pretty good. That's beautiful. <laughs> it is beautiful. So, what do you got on the color? Same aesthetic. A couple shades lighter. Yeah. You know, Golden, still, you still can't... Hazy. Yeah. Still can't see through it. It's a, This is just a lighter honey. Really nice head on it still. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, you think about carbonation. It's It's got every... It literally has everything in terms of what a beer should look like. Yep. Like, no one would know you're not drinking a beer. Yeah. Yeah, no chance. What do you got on the nose? Getting a lot of the same notes. Yeah, just just a little more subtle. I yeah. thought the other one was a little more aromatic, maybe because of some of the hops in there. This this may might not have as much of a hop profile. Yeah, this one just kind of has more just basic beer. Yeah, it knows. It, it smells like a dad beer. Yeah, to me, like it, it's <laughs> you know it's it's just light and easy going. Right. Yeah, there's not a whole lot. There's like a slight sweet, but I wouldn't even. I, I think I'm just kind of like looking for it. Like. Yeah, I can't get anything really poking out. No. It's just beer. It's beer. It, it smells like beer. Yep. Hopping in? Jumping in. Splashing in. I'm going to dip my toe in. Do it. Going in. 
Man, there's a there's a sour that comes through on that one. Yeah. Pretty heavy towards the end. I would say this one doesn't feel as beery as the Run Wild does to me. Sure. Like, I think you could convince almost anyone that the Run Wild is an IPA, is a beer. But this one, there's a little bit of a, a lack of body, I think. Sure. You have to get to the aftertaste before the beer notes come through. The whole the whole drink yeah. is just kind of more seltzier. Uh, yeah, I was going to say that. It's like a soda water. Yeah. Yeah. And then, but once you, once you're down, the aftertaste comes up and you get those, there's like a sour, uh, and then some of the hoppy notes start coming back in. There are the beer notes, like the beer notes are definitely there, but they're not as pronounced. They're not as definable right. as beer notes. Right. They're beer adjacent. Well, and I, I think it's because like in an IPA, that dominant note is bitter. Right. You know, and, and you're getting the hoppy and the bitter. And when you get hoppy and bitter, it really pokes through. But this, if you're not using heavy hops, if you're not using, you know, kind of those uh, hops normally reserved for IPAs, you're not going to get that flavor profile there. Right. And I mean, you can get a bitter to mask a lot of things. Right. And without that, there's not a whole lot to to mask here. There's not a whole lot to kind of poke out here. Yeah. This one, this one's more visually aesthetic. Nails it. Oh, yeah. But then, yeah. On the palate, it's, it's, it's more subtle. It's got it's got some of those notes, but man, they're all just really really subtle. Saying that, like it sounds like a negative, but I don't hate it. Yeah, no, I don't either. You know what? I, I was thinking about it, and I think kind of like almost like the perfect situation for these two is like you want another beer, right? But you know you probably shouldn't, right? You know right. this this these would complement so well if you've already you know you're already enjoying your evening. It's probably time to start winding down, but but you want to? I still want to enjoy the evening yeah you know well and i mean you know, one of these. you know i'm thinking about it in terms of maybe analogous to the coke world mm-hmm. why do we not shame people who are drinking diet coke and yet people when they're like you're drinking an na beer they're like oh why would you do that yeah, what's the point of that yeah why are you doing that well, but I still like the flavors still like I, the taste. i'm willing to bet that you just don't want the negative i'm gonna say what benefits. i'm gonna say and i might totally redo okay. this I'm willing to bet that your same dude that's crushing a case of Bud Light is also drinking Diet Coke. He's also eating lard out of the bucket, but he's drinking Diet Coke. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, like, what what's the difference? It's it's marketing. I can tell you that, that's really what the difference is. Is it's marketing? Sure. And it's it's perception. Right. And I I think with the advent and the popularity of seltzers makes this more accessible. Yeah, I I could totally. 100% see myself having six pack of these in the fridge. Yeah, why not? With dinner, I went ahead and I had my beer already, you know, but I got to work in the morning. Right. I don't need to do a second, but I, I'd still like the flavors to finish off dinner with. Yeah. Open one of these up. Yeah. Perfect. Or, you know, you, you literally just got done mowing the lawn and you don't want something heavy. You know, you maybe got to do something later. You're like, ah, I want a beer. I still want that beer. So here we go. Yeah. Yeah. 100%. Absolutely. That would hit. Beautifully. So how is non-alcoholic beer made? You know, is this, is it a situation of like all the processes are the same? You're just not letting it sit so that the fermentation doesn't happen? Or is there more to it? Yes and no. Okay. So there are really like two methods of doing this. Okay. And the first is to like interfere with the brewing process to prevent the formation of alcohol. Mm Mm-hmm. And the other is to remove the alcohol from a fully brewed beer. I don't know which athletic is doing. Gotcha. I will say that in terms of like alcohol prevention, if you will, mm-hmm. is like literally you're withholding the yeast. Like you're not adding yeast. You're withholding yeast from your basic beer recipe. Right, which is the alcohol making agent. Right, because essentially what you're doing, like if you, and we've talked about brewing beer, but basically you're making like flavored sugar water Mm -hmm. and that's what the yeast want to eat. They want to eat all the sugars. That's what ferments. That's what causes the alcohol. The the alcohol is the byproduct of yeast. Right. So essentially like withholding the yeast, you're not putting yeast in it ultimately so there, it's not a fermented product. Dilute that with a little bit of water and then carbonate it. Mm-hmm. And that's that becomes a, a version of um, of an A beer. Right. So that's the kind of method it's used predominantly in Islamic countries because mm-hmm. it is zero point zero. Right. Like it is not there's it, it has to be out of it. Right. It's not fermented. And, and in some of those countries, like 
alcohol is prohibited by law, right? That that's why, right? So zero point zero. The other is um, like a limited fermentation. So like you let it ferment just a little bit mm-hmm. and like really little bit. So you're still adding yeast. You're still putting the yeast into the brew or into the beer, but you're not letting it ferment as long. Kind of like stopping the the fermentation process but how do you how do you do that how do you stop the fermentation process if the sugar is in there and the yeast is in there how do you stop that so some brewers will utilize a process called arrested fermentation where the yeast are inactivated or removed before they can start producing high alcohol content so it's it's like they're filtering out the yeast and you're using uh, um like really fine mesh strainers sure Things Dang. of that, yeah, like things of that nature. And it's it's possible, you know, because the technology has grown, it's it's definitely possible. Sure. You can also do it by dropping the uh, temperature in a beer really quickly down to just above freezing. Mm-hmm. And what will happen is all of your yeast will fall to the bottom. Uh, in normal brewing, this is called cold crashing. And it's a way to get your beer to be super filtered. Mm-hmm. But if you combine this with using, you know, not as not fermenting as long, and using less yeast and then cold crashing you know, like really fast, you know, like throwing it into a freezer, getting it down as, as fast as you can, it will also cut the yeast out. And basically you're taking, let's say you got a five gallon batch, you're taking, you know, three gallons and that's what you're using. Right. So that the bottom, you know, two gallons are is the more fermented product and that's not what you're using. Right. Or the the yeast are, you know, still in there, that kind of thing. So you can gotcha. do that. You can also use specialized yeast. Uh, this is like modern, modern, like within the last like 10 Genetically years. Genetically altered yeast. <laughs> right. Cyborg exactly. yeast. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> They're, uh, these yeast are like literally made for this product and they, they don't, they do not produce their byproduct is not fermented alcohol. It's just another sugar, but it's, it's difficult to do that. And they're like, I guess they're really testy. Oh, testy. Yeah. The last method is you brew a normal beer and you remove the alcohol and you do that by boiling it. Bummer. Yeah. Yeah. So what happens though is like through that, you're removing a lot of flavor. You're removing a lot of the qualities right. of beer. So it's still beer, but you're removing all of that. Right. Then what you have to do because you've boiled off all the alcohol is that you then have to force carbonate fermentate or you have to force carbonate it like a, like a soda would be. Right. So it's, it's a forced carbonation. Gotcha. So that's, Basically, it's it's the same kind of method, but basically Just different it. ways of doing it. Yeah, I mean, you can filter, you can reverse osmosis, you can use reverse osmosis, you know that kind of thing. Right. Um, but well, we don't know what they're doing. Yeah, we don't know, but it does say that they're using yeast. So I would assume that they're not using that. You know, they're not using the zero point zero method. Right. Because it it does say that it has a bit of alcohol. I mean, less than point five percent. Right. Yeah. So they mu- they must be using it in some no GMOs and vegan. So, I mean, the the process is really, really scientific and kind of like interesting when you're thinking about it. I mean, it's like I'm brewing beer, but there's another aspect. There's another level here. I was just looking at the cans. Yeah. Looking at the mash bill. They're the exact same, except this has wheat. The other one didn't have wheat. Huh. Mash bill. In the ingredients. <laughs> I mean, you can call it mash bill. That's what it is. Yeah. Essentially. I was I was thinking too. I wonder, I wonder if it would be like interesting to... So you just started your meal. Mm-hmm. You've got your favorite beer. Right. And you, you pour your beer. You you grab one of the Athletic Brewing Company beers. Yeah. And as you're drinking said favorite beer, you're, you're kind of adding, adding back it into it, it oh. kind of making your own kind of a, a blend, sure. beer blend, if that would just be another way of prolonging the beer experience. Yeah. I mean, there are some beer purists out there that are yelling at us right now. I'm so, Absolutely. Yeah. Not. Do not. You cannot do, do, do that. Do not do that. I mean, think about like a, uh, like a Rattler. A Rattler is essentially that. It's right. a beer then mixed with a, a juice, generally like a lemonade or a grapefruit or something like that. Or so, or say, you know, you, you, you do two thirds. You drink right. two thirds of your and then pour one said of favorite beer. Sure. Then top it off with one of these. I don't see why not. You know? Yeah. Extend that a little bit. It's just, it's just giving you more options. Yeah. And honestly, like, I feel like this is close enough. To a beer that adding it to almost anything's not going to mask that original beer if you're going in that way. And, and I think like, you know, we've we've gotten emails from people in the past about, you know, like, I, I love what you guys are doing. I'm not a big drinker. Right. And I think that this is a way to do that, too. If yeah, you're totally. not a drinker, if you, 
if you're okay with drinking something with less than 0.5, I mean, it's, it says it's non-alcoholic because it's you know minuscule. Sure. Why not? I mean, yeah. and you know, for drip and stone specifically, like we talked about at the very beginning of this whole process that yeah. we wanted to do a wide variety of things. Absolutely. You know, this is fantastic. Like this totally fits into that realm of like broadening what we do. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm totally glad we did this. Yeah, like, me too. And I'm really interested in what else, you know, we can find in this world, not just from athletic, but what else is out there? What, what are the other possibilities of any beers too? Yeah. I don't disagree with you at all. Like I can totally see breweries saying like, you know what, if this, if that were to become a thing, yeah, we need a version of what we do that's in a so i know that actually a lot of breweries have done or are in the process of doing na beers like big breweries like big boy breweries like Mm -hmm. (laughs) brew dog right i mean that's that's a really popular scottish brewery you can find brew dog stuff here um it's actually brewed in i think columbus now if i'm not mistaken uh well being's another big one sam adams has an, an na beer dogfish head has an na beer uh it's called the lemon quest um, hmm. it's a non-alcoholic wheat brew, so they don't call it beer. They call it brew, but yeah, I totally I'm, try I'm, that. I'm pretty shocked that that hasn't, you know, become more of a market yeah. presence. Like the seltzers and stuff like that have taken off like gangbusters. Like it's just kind of surprising that in a beer yeah. hasn't become more of a right. No, I agree. Thing yet. Like, uh, Brooklyn, Brooklyn brewing has one, uh, brew dogs weirdly partnered with the band lamb of God. <laughs> The, the heavy metal band from Virginia. Sure. I know you're not a big Lamb of God fan. I understand that. Didn't, uh, didn't know that was a thing. Oh, yeah. You want me to play your song? Ready? I'm good. Okay. Uh, they make their Hazy AF, their Nanny State. Nice. <laughs> their Punk AF is non-alcoholic. Cool. So, you know, you've got really big breweries that are doing this, that are that are interested in it because they're, they know that there's a market for it. Yeah. I mean, personally, like, I, I could totally see, like, getting into it. Mm-hmm. I really could like, yeah. you know, start off like during the week. Yeah. You know, I hit the weekend and I can, you know, I can let loose a little bit, right. but like during the week, if I know I've got to work in the morning, totally crack into one of these. Yeah. That'd be perfect. And and honestly, like, you know, thinking about this in terms of, well, why don't you just drink a regular beer? Well, if I'm not drinking beer, but I want, I mean, this is better for you than a soda. Yeah. It's the health benefits for me personally. <laughs> yeah. Like, if, you know, I just don't want the second beer. I don't want all the calories. Right. I don't want the alcohol going in there. Right. And and throwing my sugars but sky high. But I still high. want that. But I still want a beer. Yeah. This is, this fits the bill. It's the same, same thing of, I want a soda, but I don't want all the calories. But I also don't want the heaviness that is a normal diet soda. I'm going to go right. with a, a sparkling seltzer. Like for me personally, like I found out recently that like seltzers give me headaches oh, so yeah. i can't do the seltzers no blue blaze for you well i mean i still have them every, every once in a while sure but this is better because <laughs> i'm still getting beer and yeah. i'm still getting the you know yeah. the sensation I'm, so actually, it's fantastic. I'm really interested to see if that does it we'll find out we'll find out you got anything else i don't think so no I, this was really interesting yeah good call man yeah thanks that's cool i appreciate it sorry sorry that i kept everything from you oh. i feel kind of bad about it it's okay i'll get over it though yeah i don't feel bad about it at all well, you should well, hide more shit from me noted <laughs> Are you sure you want to say that? Because I got some ideas, bro. When, like the last three beer episodes that we've done, <laughs> That's I didn't know true. what we were going you had to do. No idea. So yeah, no, it works. Okay. Well, you haven't disappointed me yet. As soon as that happens, I'm done. There'll be a hard cut off. <laughs> <laughs> that, I expect nothing less. We're done here. I expect nothing less. Too Turkish. <laughs> yeah. Well, we want to know what you think about non-alcoholic. Uh, brews in general like what are your thoughts what are your opinions is it a social stigma thing you know do you feel like there's social stigmas associated with it? i think there totally is yeah yeah i mean th- this has like really been kind of like eye-opening for me yeah yeah i wish i wish more there were there were more examples of this maybe there are maybe i'm just totally ignorant to it by the way if you have a favorite na beer that you want us to try yeah get in touch with us you can send us some stuff and we'll definitely try it yeah for sure yeah you can get in touch with us through email. It's dreppinstone at gmail.com. You can also get in touch with us through social media. It's always one word, dreppinstone, D-R-E-P, and stone. Come find us, like us. We'll like it right back. Right back. Like immediately back. As soon as I see it, I, I like people right back. Yeah. It may take me a couple of days to see it. But as soon as I see it, <laughs> I, I like, see it, like it right, right back. back. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. how that works. Yeah. I feel so the same way. I mean, it's, it's honest. It, it, it's truthful. Well, yeah. I don't sit there and think about it for a couple of days. No, like, I'm like, do, do I really do I deserve, deserve it? it? <laughs> do I really deserve it? <laughs> no, right, no, I'm right away. right back. Um, and if you want to help support the podcast, you can do so in three ways. First way is, uh, you know, just 
screaming at the top of your lungs um, in, in the mall. Are people going to malls? Are, do malls uh, exist anymore? I don't think so. I mean, I'm seeing a lot of places looking out concert okay. tour dates kicking okay. back up, you know, All over right. the summer and stuff. So if you're in any of those venues, yeah, just literally top of your lungs. Before everybody starts, you know, singing there or, or whatever, just as loud as you can. Yeah. Tell everybody, Trepid Stone, listen to the newest episode. It's great. Yeah. You should too. We'll get like a thousand new followers right there. Right there. That Boom. sounds great. You can also support the podcast or buy me a coffee page. It's buymeacoffee.com slash Drippin' Stone. And that helps keep the lights on and helps us, uh, you know, keep buying interesting things yeah. to try. Buy us a pint of NA beer. Oh, yeah. Boom. Absolutely. We've mentioned this in the last couple of episodes, but that fan is on and it's glorious and I want to keep it on. It is Florida. It's been summer since last summer. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that never really go away. Exactly. And you can also just give us a quick rating on wherever you find podcasts, Amazon Podcast, uh, Google Play Podcast, or whatever Google's called now, iTunes, wherever it is. Just give on us the radio. One. Sure. You know. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. May your glass overflow. And your ass never show. <laughs> Cheers, buddy. Cheers. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Don't look at it. Yeah, especially when you get that 32 ouncer. Ooh. Ooh. You're just drinking. Yeah. 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 Ooh. Not the shick. The, the shtick. The shtick. Yeah. Whipped cream. <laughs> that would have, excuse me. <laughs> Go whip. That's not going in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, that's me in the morning. Is DNS a real thing? Uh, Dripping Stone. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Got it. That NA beer getting to me, buddy. <laughs> Woo! Get a little loopy.